What's up guys, Aiden here, Ace Lawn Landscaping. Welcome back to another video. Today in this video, I'm finally giving you the update. On the front yard, in the backyard, and everything. Three weeks after seeding. But we do have some weeds in the backyard. I wanna welcome you to my new backyard. It actually looks like a lawn. So let's dive down and take a look at what we got going on in this backyard. But first, before we do that, I'll put in an irrigation system. So let's check it out. All right, so I just have a one port timer, but I'm probably gonna change that in the spring to a two port so I can run each off of separate. But it's a really old timer. But uh, as you can see here, we've got a head there and a head there. And after they boot up, the two of them cover the entire yard. Check it out. So you got the one over here, they are the Hunter pop-up rotators, a hundred foot hose, cut in half, spliced together with two sprinkler heads, and you get something like this. Now you're going to have to stay tuned because this, probably next June, we have a special guest coming here that will be doing lots of lawn work with me, and we may be even upgrading the backyard irrigation system. But let's get into the backyard and check out what it actually looks like without this water on. So here you have it. Here's my new backyard. How's it look? It's a huge improvement. I noticed improvement right after I started pumping water down on it. And I noticed even more improvement right after the seeding and uh, aeration. This section right in here is still recovering. It didn't really grow because it didn't really receive water. So I've adjusted that and now that's getting water all right in this section here, which was not previously getting water. So after I did that, I put some more seed down on this area, which you can probably tell down in here. Let me go down for you. More seed down in there. But after I did all that, now I'm hoping all this will grow and fill in and grow even more after our second fertilizer application. But here's the lawn. Looks pretty good if you ask me. I wanna show you some really bare sections that have now completely filled in. I wanna break down the different sections of the yard, how it was all fertilized and how everything's looking. Then I also wanna show you some problems we're currently having. What I consider problems, but are probably not problems. But we have to wait a little bit to fix those problems. Let's get into it. GCI seed, three pounds per thousand. X start, three pounds per thousand. And the lawn tools with some six hats. Thank you, brother. See that A's on there? It's awesome. Check this out. My neighbor did take an aeration and seeding from me, so her lawn is looking much better. But come in here, check this out, guys. This front yard is looking awesome. It is looking really good. See, we got an area that layover I was talking about that's standing a little bit taller than usual. But, uh, might need to sharpen the lawnmower blades soon. But the grass is looking really, really good. I actually wanted to talk about something real quick. The reason we've got layover like that is when you are seeding your lawn and you go two weeks after seeding to cut your grass, if you're a lawn striper, take your striping kit off your mower. Do not risk it. Do not mess with it. I'm partnering up with Big League Lawns. They're going to be a new partner on the YouTube channel. It's a great striping kit, but don't stripe your lawn the first mow after seeding. You don't want to lay that baby grass over, and you don't, you don't want to cut it when it's wet. I made that mistake. I didn't realize my irrigation system accidentally came on on a day it wasn't supposed to come on. It watered. I cut. It looked terrible. I don't have a clip of it because you can't actually tell, and I probably actually used a clip, but like right here, it's still laying over from the mow I did on this yard. I've cut it now a second time, so it's starting to stand back up. Don't do that. Take your striping kits off. Put your striping kits on like three to four weeks after the mow. 
You guys will follow that. I'll be throwing a stripe kit on next week, no problem. Just give that grass some time to grow. Give it time to germinate. Don't stress it out. Now we've got an elephant in the room to talk about, and this isn't any regular elephant in the room. It's so big of an elephant, we need a ladder to tame this beast. We need a ladder to reach the top of his head to check out his roots. That's how we're gonna reach him. So we're taking a ladder back here to reach the elephant in the room. Let's go check him out. That's right guys, I need to tell you about the X green versus the 1621 2 green pop section and the X start versus the 1621 2 green pop. But before we get into that, I had to grab a ladder and I had to come up here. You know why I had to come up here? It's because I did a video on X start versus green pop that had almost 700 views in a month. That's a lot for me. And I had tons of comments on the video. When are you gonna show us an update? Well, I've come up here on this ladder standing that much off the ground to show you an update between X Green and Green Pop and X Start and Green Pop. Now we're going to be following another application of granular on this section. We're going to be following Green County Fertilizers fall seeding program on this section and then we're going to be going liquids with something else in the front for probably our last app of fertilizer this year. Let me turn the camera around and let's get into it. So this is our X green section, and this is our green pop section. This got 0.32N, which is three pounds per thousand of X green, and this got 12 ounces per thousand of green pop, which is 0.17. There is no real difference. This is the section that didn't get water, that still has got some bare spots that need to be seeded. This is good, this is good, this is good, this is good, this is bad. But as for nitrogen, it all looks the same. It's looking really good. Let's go look at this section and that section, which was what you all were wondering about. Green Pop versus X Start. Let's go check them out. Now here's this section. Right here, this is, there's a little dry spot here. X Start, Green Pop. There is a little bit of difference here, mainly because this had a little bit more nitrogen. These two were as close as possible. This had more nitrogen. This also had the slow release nitrogen, so this is still pumping nitrogen out, whereas this is probably almost done. They look pretty much the same. When you're here in person, you cannot tell the difference, but it's all nice and equal. If you have any questions about what I've done to my lawn, leave them in the box down below. With that, I'm Aiden from A's Lawn Landscaping. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.